Welcome back to Talk Pittsburgh. The Global Education Organization 100 just named their champion of the year, and it is none other than one of our regular guests and the founder of Remake Learning, Greg Baer. Greg, congratulations. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. It was an incredible honor to be there in Helsinki, Finland, and to oh receive this award. It was unbelievable. So tell me about this distinction and how it felt to get it other than obviously incredible. So 100 is a global organization that elevates and amplifies learning innovation across the globe. Okay. And over the course of years, they've come to recognize Pittsburgh as a hot spot of learning innovation in schools, but also in early learning centers, in our museums and libraries. And so while I was recognized singularly, yeah. everyone knows no one ever does anything alone. And I was really there representing Western Pennsylvania and the extraordinary school leaders and librarians and youth workers and others who do the work every day to make life better for our kids. I think it's incredible that this major organization is recognizing Pittsburgh, an organization right here in Pittsburgh. I mean, that has to feel good, and you're at the forefront of that. It feels great. So I get to work at the Grable Foundation. I've been there nearly two decades, mm -hmm. and this is a charitable foundation that for decades has been supporting the well-being of children, educators, and their families all across Western Pennsylvania. And the work of Pittsburgh really has been recognized both nationally and now internationally. It is recognized as a hot spot around the globe where people are thinking about what is relevant, what is engaging, what is equitable, what are the learning experiences that our kids want, need, and deserve, and how do we do that? Really interesting stuff. So what is at the forefront? How do you guys stay so relevant in bettering the education and the well-being of children everywhere? I think it's the curiosity of our educational leaders whether it's the, in the Duquesne City School District where they've rethought learning spaces, where they've integrated curricula that helps kids give voice and words to their passions and interests that connect them to possible future careers. It's the work in the South Fayette Township School District up north to the Butler. It's the labs at the Carnegie Libraries reimagining what a library could look like mm -hmm. to teens today all the way over to the Children's Museum of Pittsburgh on the north side that's been at the forefront of maker-centered learning. It's STEM, it's maker, it's, it's all of the things that help bring learning alive and make it joyful, yeah. which is what it needs to be. You're exactly right, especially to keep kids interested. So how is Remake Learning kind of evolving and meeting the needs of students, whether it be emotionally, mentally, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so Remake Learning is this network involving more than 600 schools, museums, libraries, early learning centers, after school programs all across Western Pennsylvania and Northern West Virginia. And we often say that the people involved in Remake Learning employ the FRED method. Ah. And when we mention that, we're referring to Mr. Mm -hmm, Rogers. Of course. So you and I probably have an emotional connection to Mr. Rogers, but think about him as an innovator, someone who saw that the, the, te that the technology of of his day, television, right, was attractive to young people. Well, think about the educators, technologists, designers who today are using virtual reality or other hardware and software that's attractive to young people. And much like Fred saying, how do I make what's attractive good? And so when we think about the social, emotional, academic growth of every child, mm -hmm. when we think about all that we're learning about learning itself, that's the Fred method. Whole child plus learning sciences equals the Fred method. And that's what educators all across this region are doing. Fred, he knew what he was talking about, huh? He knew what he was doing. He was decades ahead of his time. You know, we didn't use the word learning scientist during his time, but he was well ahead of his time. Okay, so we also know, though, that it goes beyond educators, right? It goes beyond the school system. So how can parents get involved and make sure that they're continuing those lessons at home and really fortifying their children so that they can exceed and excel in school? Parents are central. They're the first teacher. Yeah. And wonderfully, to go back to Helsinki, one of the things that was featured on that global stage was work happening right here in Western Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. It's a project called Parents as Allies, 31 school districts where parent-led teams are working alongside principals and teachers to reimagine family school engagement that goes beyond parent-teacher conferences and great communications as hard as it is to do those things, right? So they're, they're, they've come up with hundreds of ideas that are building relational trust in places like New Brighton and Burrell and West Allegheny to really engage parents, families, and caregivers in the vibrancy of that school culture. What do you think it was that really got Pittsburgh to this point, to really be at the forefront of this? I think Pittsburgh is a place that we've learned over many decades that when we work together, we work better. 
right? Yeah. And, and there is something to be said about the DNA of Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And it was his neighborhood, right? So it really was, you know, the baker and the delivery man and everyone. It's all of the caring adults and how those caring adults come together to make life better for kids and make it a little bit easier to be a parent. And that's what makes it a beautiful day exactly. in the neighborhood. Thank you very much for being here. We really appreciate it. If you are interested in learning more about remake learning or reading Greg's new book, When You Wonder You're Learning, we have the links for you on our website, kdk.com slash talk Pittsburgh. All right, a sweet spin on turkeys. Chef Aleka is showing us how to make a fun treat with your kids for Thanksgiving dessert.